Hello. I pray that you are well today. We begin a new weekly series. This one's entitled, Jesus Said. You know, maybe you had a Bible where the red letters were the words of Jesus. The words of Jesus to you in your life and my life are important. Today, Jesus said, peace. What fights against your peace? Maybe what doesn't fight against your peace? You can be at a peaceful moment and then a thought can come into your mind and it can start a little fire there that rages on and on and on and gets bigger and bigger. It can't even be maybe even something you're doing. It might be somebody else, someone you love, someone you care for. Your peace is stolen, it's shattered by the simplest thing. Jesus used these, these words in John chapter 14 and verse 27. Peace. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Peace. Jesus wants you to have peace today. Peace I leave with you. It comes from him. Peace I give to you. My peace, he says, I give to you. His gift of peace. It's a gift. It's not something you can manufacture and can say, I'm going to feel more peaceful today. Tomorrow, I'm going to feel more peaceful. Next year, I'm going to feel more peaceful. It's a gift of God. God wants to give you the gift of peace. In, that, in other words, God knows when you don't know. God is powerful when you're not powerful. In the midst of your weakness, he is still strong. He wants to give you peace. But then he also says this, I do not give it to you as the world gives. How, how does the world give peace? The world gives peace Candidly, sometimes by simply saying the only way you have peace is escape, is to, is to leave, is to say I'm not going to think about it, I'm going to close my eyes, I'm, I'm going to close my ears, I'm not going to be involved with it. That's not what God says. God, God clearly says the peace of the world is temporary. It's like a plastic veneer. It's like it, it doesn't really show anything. Have you ever been in one of those um, places and you saw behind the scenes? You saw a performance or, or, a, or an amusement park or you, you saw something and you saw behind the scenes and things weren't as you thought they were. It was imitation. It wasn't real. It was simply staged for the eye. That's the idea. The world simply stages things for the eye. The peace that God offers is deep and lasting. Peace is not at the bottom of a bottle. Peace is not at working more. Peace is not as a running away. Peace is not at fretting and worrying. Peace is a gift, a gift that God gives, not as the world gives it, not temporary, but continuous and full and free. For he then says these words, Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Don't let your hearts be troubled. What troubles your heart today? Who or what circumstance troubles your heart today? And don't be afraid. God knows you. He knows what's happening in your life and in mine. He knows what we are concerned about he knows what we are fearful about. He knows what tries to steal our peace. And he says, don't let your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. Because Jesus Christ has said to you today, peace. Please pray with me. Lord God, we give you thanks that you are the God of peace and you want us to be at peace. And you want us to be at peace more than we want to be at peace. And your peace never runs out. And you are always present with us. And therefore, even though we are tempted to find peace by the way the world gives it to us, we are grateful that you, you give peace as a gift. You do not want us to be troubled or afraid. In Jesus' name, amen. May God grant you in this day his peace. Remember this thought. God wants to give you peace. God wants you to be at peace. 
God wants to continually give you that gift. God bless you.